seems to be the case. Anybody to do with this arm of the Normandy family, people don't like it. People don't like them. Mind you, the High Crown Authority never 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 helps. And we get again because the title has uh, passed uh, officially to the next person rather than a usurpation. Um, the, the Crown Authority remains at high. So how about the plot power then for Prince Henry? Still going strong. That's That's going to be the next the next chance we have really is the is this faction here. Duchess Sibylla of Oxford, Prince Harold, Lower Crown Authority. Looking at France, of course, there's still going this this just this war is still going on for Aquitaine independence, and they are winning. But also now there is a second war going on in France, and that is Henry's claim on France. So France is at war on two fronts here, not in good uh, not in a good situation. Quite a few people joining this lower crown authority. 35 though, it's not massively... Not massively uh, powerful just yet. What's this? Robert de Normandy has transferred the vassal contract of William of Northall to Henry de Normandy. Is he trying to win favour here? Disbanded faction. And this man still alive and kicking. Prince Gervas for England faction. Gervas, I think, is another son of King William the Conqueror. He's the youngest son of the Prince William the Conqueror. Uh, Prince William the Conqueror? King William the Conqueror. He is the youngest child. And he doesn't exactly strike me as a good king either, judging by those statistics. Another one joining the seniority succession. 49.7% Throw our name into that hat as well So seniority... I don't... actually I don't know Ah, go on To hell with it Ooh. Revoking the county of Kent Count of Kent. It looks like the Duchy of Kent's been disbanded here. Is he? What happened to the county? What happened to the Duchy of Kent? It's gone. It's been destroyed. Either he's destroyed it, or something's happened that's negated the uh, the, the Duchy of Kent. Maybe the king is getting rid of those that don't like him. Right. Well, these are the two that have the most sway. And both of these would benefit Henry at this moment in time, so... We'll, we'll see what happens with those. I think we'll have a feast, not this year, but we'll have one next year. And we, we're just about over 200 now. We'll get to about 300 and then we'll build some more in our lands. Up to 1800. Liege's culture. What is the Liege's culture? He'll be probably Norman, I would expect. Yep, Norman. 
Nope, we'll stick with English, thank you. Revoke the County of Winchester. And he comes to our court as an exile. Yeah, he's definitely getting rid of troublesome people, isn't he? <laughs> yes, I think it's best that we don't we don't tick him off too much. Else we lose some of our land. Then there would be hell to pay. Duchy of Bedford, Duchy of Somerset, King of England, a few counties. We lose a guardian. Katerina Wettin. Cotzello's mother passes away. We have a child that we can use. Vassal contracts being, being uh, traded. Who is this child? Oh, ah, wrong one. Okay, you know, we're going to have to find a child that requires <laughs> requires tutelage in our court. I don't think it's any of these children because they're not in our court, so can't be any of those. William is in our court. No, he's only three. Zachariah's not in our court. Arthur, it, it could, be, it must be Henry. It's got to be. Or is it got? Oh, it's got Zello. Silly me. Um, he is my half brother, isn't he? Who shall we send to chew to him? A priest. Yes. How about we send one of our priests? Who do we need good opinion with? Bishop of Monmouth? Could do with a boost to... Uh, Boost to relations. Can he tutor? There you go. It's a starter. If he accepts, of course. Take it to 54. Still a little while to go. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. It's not mine. Is it my child? See if it works. Does it work? Bishop of Monmouth, 47. Entrusted ward. Yes, it does work. <laughs> County of Dorset has now been revoked. Well, he's definitely making his mark, isn't he? Lack of piety in one of the courtiers makes me worried. I would not, wouldn't want to accuse anyone of not being a good Christian. But if my suspicions are correct, then something needs to be done. Are we religious? We're cynical. Although we are a holy warrior. Confront her? Or expose her? I think we'll keep it in-house. I'm not the biggest religious person. If I was a devout religious, I might... I might expose her to the general public, but uh, for now, we'll keep it in-house. Okay, so we're still waiting, obviously, for the claim on Ossery, in terms of our own personal expansion. Things just seem to have stabilised a little bit in England, and as I say that something happens. <laughs> King Robert I of England has declared the English war for Count Raoul's claim on Amiens. Oh. We're going against France again? And we're trying to claim Amiens? On behalf of Count Raoul. Who the hell is Count Raoul when he's at home? He must be a count within here. Count Roger? Count William? Who 
on earth is Count Raoul? Count Raoul of Vexin. Why does he want to claim Amiens? He has, a, he has a claim on... He must have a weak claim. Or a strong claim. He has a strong claim on the county of Amien somehow. We could look into the complexity of, 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 uh, the complexities of how he is, um, has a strong claim. Maybe his father was a former count of Amiens. Yes, his father was the former count of Amiens, which makes sense, I suppose. Anyway, the thing that interests me about this whole affair... Of course, France are highly fragmented. And if we go and see the King of France's levy size, I think we'll find it's actually pretty paltry at 5,547 men. England will be uh, united at this moment in time and with high crown authority I expect our levy size to be around about 10,000. 15? Wow! So this should not be a major issue for our, us to win this. But the question is, because currently Count Raoul of Vexin is a vassal of us here in Normandy, if he also becomes a Count of Amiens, does Amiens come, become de facto a part of the uh, Duchy of Normandy, thus giving us another land to the House Fleming dynasty? We'll soon find out, I suppose. Yes, de jour wise, Amiens is part of uh, the Duchy of, uh, of, of Valois. But if we do, or rather, if England managed to uh, give this to Count Raoul, then that, I think, would put it de facto part of the Duchy of Normandy. Thus giving Hermione, and but then in the future, George II, extra land, which is a bonus. France, of course, are riddled with their own personal wars. Civil war for independence of Aquitaine. Which is almost complete, actually. And, uh, of course, somebody else is trying to claim the throne, so they are in no position to defend against us right now. And it looks like we lose our spy master. So we'll go for a new one. We have one in-house. Bishop Sewell. 18? That'll do for me. Plus it should increase our relations. A bishop is a spy master. How on earth does that work? It's a good cover, of course. Being a priest. No one would ever <laughs> suspect you of being a, a spy. Or maybe they will, I don't know. I, I wouldn't think so. Anyway, team in Cornwall for now. Yeah. And the relations go up to 43, which is good. So by hook or by crook, I will have the ear of my vassals, have them trade, have them tutor my uh, immediate family, have them uh, appointed council positions. It all helps to increase the relationship. We hit 366 gold pieces, so we'll start building more land within our holdings. And I think we're going to go for... I mean, what shall we go for? Simple longbow range. I think we'll go for the cheapies first. Go for the cheap and cheerfuls. Get those out the way. Stable there too. Or militia training ground. Uh, we'll go for militia training ground. Of course, shall no, okay, that'll do. Takes us down to one seven three, and he recreates the Duchy of Kent. I wonder who's going to give that to, or is he going to keep it for himself? Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! This is getting hairy here. This is getting rather hairy. He's kept the title of Duchy of Kent for himself at this moment in time. Whether he keeps that permanently or whether he's going to give it to somebody more trusting is another matter. Still intrigued as to how his yeah, 
Hmm. Some of his. Hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering if we're in danger of losing land here. 